Hello and welcome, this is Daisy. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to customize a t-shirt using transfer paper for dark fabrics. This time, I'm going to be using the transfer paper for dark fabrics from Hippo brand. The package comes with 10 pages of transfer paper, two pages of greaseproof paper, and one page of adhesive polyester film. You may order this product from Amazon. You can find the link in the video description. And beside the items that come in the package, we're going to use a heat press or an easy press. I'm going to be using an easy press. And to print the design, you may use any color inject printer. I am using a Canon Mega Tank G6020. And before we start with the tutorial, I would like to invite you to subscribe to my channel, like my video, and press the notification bell. And we're going to start working with the design. The design, we can print it from any graphic design program. In this case, I'm going to show you two programs that I like to use when printing this kind of images. The first program I'm going to be working is Inkscape. This is a free program and it's very easy to use. Let's go to File, click on Document Properties, and this window will pop up. Here, we're going to select the paper we're going to be working with. In this case, I'm going to be working in letter size, eight and a half by 11 inches. Go to the lower right corner and minimize the Canva. Let's go to File again and click Import. Select the image you wish to work with and open it. Click OK. Now here you're going to resize it to your liking. I'm going to stretch it because I would like to use the entire letter size paper. When ready to print, go to File and click on Print. Select the printer you're going to be using and go to Preferences. Select Photo Printing. On Media Type, select Matte Photo Paper. On Quality, select High. On size, select letter size. Click OK and print. While printing, let's go to the next program. We're going to be using Cricut Design Space. The advantages of printing in this program is that if you owned the Cricut machine, we can cut the design using the machine. And if we're printing from Inkscape or any other program, we're going to have to cut the design using scissors. Go to Upload. I already have the image on the gallery, but I would like to show you how to upload it to this area. Upload Image, Browse, Select the image you wish to work with and open it. Select Complex. As you can see, the image has a clear background. If your image doesn't have a clear background, click on the magic wand and clean it. If the image background looks white or any other solid color, that means it's not transparent, so it needs to be cleaned. Click 
continue. Select the one that says print then cut and upload. Select the image from the gallery and insert. Resize to your liking and print. Just remember, when printing from Cricut Design Space, we cannot print bigger than 6.75 by 9.25 inches. Now, when you have it ready to print, go to make it. And this is how it's going to look when printing. As you can see, it's a smaller than the one we print from Inkscape. Click continue. Send to printer. Here, we're going to select the printer we're going to be using. In this case, I am using the Canon Mega Tank printer. Remove the bleed and select on Use System Dialog and click on Print. Select the printer again and like we did on Inkscape, we're going to go to Preferences. Select Photo Printing. On Media Type, we're going to select Matte Photo Paper. On Print Quality, we're going to select High. On Paper Size, we're going to select Letter Size. Click OK and print. And if you're using your Cricut machine to cut the design, we're going to select either photo paper or printable sticker paper. And here are the two printing one from Inkscape and the other one from Cricut Design Space. The one that has the border lines is the one from Cricut Design Space. As you can see, the printing from Inkscape is bigger than the one from Cricut. Using the scissors, I'm going to cut the one that I printed from Inkscape. Now we're going to cut the one that we printed from Cricut Design Space. And time to transfer the design on the t-shirt. I'm going to use the design I printed from Inkscape. I like this one better because it's bigger. First, we're going to remove the back paper. And if the design is delicate, I recommend you to use the transfer tape that comes in the transfer paper package. In this case, I am not using that tape because the design is very easy to peel and handle. Before pressing the design, clean the surface with a lint roller and iron it. Place the design and the greaseproof paper that comes in the package on top of the design. Then we're going to press for 30 seconds at 340 degrees. Since the design is bigger than the easy press, we're going to make some movements to the side 
while applying medium pressure. Remove the greaseproof paper and ready. As you can see, it was very easy to customize a t-shirt using the transfer paper for dark fabric from the Hippo brand. With this transfer paper, you may customize cotton, polyblend fabrics, canvas, burlap, tissue paper, ribbon, and so on. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like my video, and press the notification bell. Thank you for your visit and I'll see you in my next tutorial.